Hi, I'm Lee Teschler, Executive Editor of Design World Magazine. And I'm Michelle DeFrangia, Assistant Editor of Design World Magazine. I always thought that when it came to light bulbs, one is about the same as another. This might have been accurate back when every light socket contained an incandescent lamp, but it is certainly not true for the LED bulbs designed as incandescent replacements. Right, you are, Michelle. We recently tore down five LED bulbs marketed as equivalents for 60-watt incandescent bulbs. The five bulbs we chose all got high marks from Consumer Reports magazine, but that's where the commonality stopped. When we got inside, we found vastly different approaches in construction techniques, thermal management, and electronics design. The bulb we'll discuss today is from 3M. It has a distinctive look thanks to the two-inch high white cylindrical column visible under its semi-transparent plastic dome. It turns out the column is just a metal heat sink that apparently has nothing to do with getting light out of the LEDs. The LEDs themselves sit on a flex circuit board attached to another two-inch high heat sink that also forms a support for the base of the bulb. A plastic sleeve goes on the bottom of the heat sink to hold the metal screw threads and support foot contact at the bottom of the base. The heat sink plus column together weigh in at about 2.4 ounces. Ellie, that flex circuit looks pretty simple compared to some of the other LED bulbs we've looked at. Why is that? Well, I agree. It does look simple. It's actually amazingly simple. Other bulbs use potting compound on the circuit and other means of handling the heat, but all 3M did was mount the flex circuit on the heat sink. One advantage of using a flex circuit is that the circuit material can bend. 3M certainly used that to good effect in this bulb. The 25 LEDs in this bulb mount directly to the flex circuit. The circuit material is bent over an edge on the heat sink to let the LEDs radiate up into the translucent bulb material, which serves as a way to distribute the light. So the LED light beams up into the plastic bulb rather than from inside it. Exactly. The circuit driving the LEDs is also pretty simple compared to other bulbs we've examined. The driver chip is one called the CL8800, and it comes from microchip technology. You often find that makers of LED driver chips publish what they call reference designs. Reference designs are just example circuits based around the chip, and quite often the circuit you find in the LED bulb is close to what is in the reference design. And the 3M bulb is no exception. The microchip technology reference design for the CL8800 includes six resistors and a bridge rectifier. Two to four additional components are optional for various levels of transient protection. On the 3M bulb, the driver circuit divides a string of 25 LEDs into two sets of five, one set of four, and one set of six. We're not sure why 3M divided the number of string LEDs this way, but that's what they did. The way the driver chip works, according to the microchip data sheet, is that six linear current regulators sync current at each tap and are sequentially turned on and off in a manner tracking the input sine wave voltage. The chip minimizes the voltage across each regulator when conducting, providing high efficiency. The output current at each tap is individually set by a resistor. An RC network consisting of a resistor and three capacitors in parallel on the input of the bridge rectifier provides phase dimming. Two other components handle transient protection on the connection to the AC line. In all, there are 13 discrete components on the flex circuit that make up the transient protection, phase dimming, and set the currents in the LED strings. Finally, it's worth noting how the circuit connects to the AC socket. The flex circuit extends down to the base and directly touches the bulb foot. Another lead touches the metal screw threads to make the other connection. That's an uncommon way of making those connections compared to other bulbs we've looked at. The usual method is to just solder wires onto the circuit board and extend them down to the foot and metal threads. By getting the flex circuit to touch the base components, 3M avoided having to add wires and solder connections. Well, we've certainly shed some light on how 3M's LED bulb works. For more videos like this one, go to designworldonline.com and click the video tab. And thanks for watching.